Hi friends, welcome back to our weekly Friday chit chat video. I hope you are all doing very, very well. My sunburn has stopped the peeling. The peeling on my face has ended. I am feeling good about it. I am happy about it. I'm still tons of different shades. I, my face, my neck, my chest, my shoulders, my arms. I mean, every, not, we're just all kinds of Mitch matching, but it's fine. It is fine. I was telling, I think I told you guys last week that I wasn't sure if my Fenty Skin Blur, the eavesdrop, you know, the new thing, if that was still gonna match me, but I am wearing it today and it, we're good, we're good. I don't need to take it back. I don't need to exchange for a different shade, which is good because I've seen other swatches of people comparing shade 11, 12, you know, they're, they're comparing all the other ones and 12 is not my undertone things it's not going to go well for me and anyways with skin tints i don't plan on just putting on my face and then leaving i'm still the type of person that's going to contour it's either i'm going to do a contour highlight or i'm not going to do any makeup at all and i mean with us wearing masks i'm most of the time all of this is covered this is all you're seeing and especially now because i got so sunburned i am always wearing a hat I'm always trying to keep things very protected now because very, very bad last experience. So I'm really, really hyped that my 11 matches me perfectly. I, I like it. It's so, so good. If you haven't tried it, I do recommend trying it. Or, you know, you can always take a foundation and some moisturizer and kind of make your own, you know, whatever you would like. But I like the way it looks on the skin. I do. And I feel like it just... It just looks good, you know, so I'm, I like it. I like it. Um, oh, I did tell you guys that we were going to be watching Mortal Kombat and we saw it. I ended up doing the seven day trial. I didn't want to do the full month because there's so many things on HBO that I want to watch that I don't, right, currently I don't have the time to binge watch tons of things for a month. That's like, that's just, that's too many things that I'm trying to watch. And I have other things that I need to do. And it's just, so we're doing the seven day trial. I'm sure by the time you watch this, that trial will be over. But we saw Mortal Kombat and I've seen a lot of mixed reviews after the fact, but before I tried staying off the internet as much as possible because people were spoiling things. They were ruining it. Don't, I don't, don't be that person. Stop spoiling things for others. Not everyone has the time to watch things when everyone else does, you know, we all got to do things at our own pace. We all have things going on. And I just don't like when people spoil things for others. So I stayed away from the internet. My boyfriend did the same. And we ended up just having to watch it just three o'clock in the morning one day. And I was like, all right, we have, we have the time to watch it. Let's watch it so we can finally get back on the internet and see what everyone is talking about. But everyone that was saying negative things about it, they, they, I, they weren't valid reasons for you not liking it so i'm just gonna live there i liked it i recommend it if you have hbo you like moral combat you played it you want to watch it i recommend watching it i think it was a good two hours so that's the only spoiler you're getting i liked it and it was a two hour long movie that's that's all you're gonna get from me um okay so two other things that i wanted to talk about and they're food related so Okay, the first thing we're gonna talk about is a little mini, little review on these Trader Joe's Chili Spiced Pineapples. So these are okay. They're not terrible, but I don't think they're great. I love the Chili Spiced Mangoes. My best friend put me onto those a couple of years ago and those are incredible. They are so, so good. If you like mangoes and you like chili, get it. It's not super spicy. It's just got just a little, I don't even want to say a little kick. It's just got a little like, oomph, you know, just a little, a little something, you know, and it's good. So I think everyone overhyped these and I had way, my expectations were just through the roof because I, I ran out of line to go and get these because the cashier said, oh, if you like the, if you like the mango ones, you'll love these. And as soon as I came home, this was the first thing that I tried. And I was just like, I mean, I guess it's not bad, but I'm not going to leave the house to run out and get more of these. I don't even plan on 
buying them again, you know, but the mango, but the mango ones, we're buying, we buy, I usually get one to two every time I go, just depending on how many snacks I leave Trader Joe's with, that depends on how many bags I get, but the mango ones are good. These are okay. And I, this is coming from someone who loves pineapples. I do love, love pineapples. I just don't feel like it was as incredible as everyone was hyping it up to be. You know what I mean? But what I do recommend leaving the house for are these. The one s'mores protein bars. Oh my gosh. These are so good. They're a limited edition. So that's why I'm saying if you like protein bars, if you like one bars, try to get them because they're so good. They're always sold out. They sell out so, so fast but for very good reason. They are worth all the hype. I love s'mores. S'mores everything. I am all for s'mores. Just, I, I love s'mores. I do, absolutely. So if you're someone that doesn't like s'mores and I wouldn't recommend it then at that, at that point, you know, you know, like these, they have marshmallows in them. They have actual little marshmallows in these. It's, it's so good. I'm not a nutritionist, but it's one gram of sugar and 20 grams of protein. Good. So, so good. I'm not the type of person that tells everyone, go and buy the whole box. Go see if you can find it before buying an entire 12 count box, just in case it's, you know, you don't like it. You know, not everybody likes everything that everyone talks about, but if you can find them individually, get it, try it, and then buy more while you're still there. Don't don't physically leave the parking lot. If you're going and they have individual ones, go grab one, pay for it, take a bite outside and see if you like it and then go and get more because these sell out so fast. So, so fast. They're so good, but I like them. Um, I think that's it. <laughs> I feel like I just kind of abruptly just ended that, but I was just really excited that these showed up because I was just like, oh my God. I remember when they sent them to me last year, they were so good that I I was holding on to it because I was like, oh my gosh. I was like, I know I'm not gonna get this because they don't exist anymore. And then when I saw that they were possibly potentially bringing it back this year, it made me feel a little better. So I did pace myself with my last box and I definitely made my, my box count, but I'm really excited, so really glad that I have 12 bars. So that's it. I'm going to end this video here. I don't feel, I feel like by the time I end this, I'm going to remember something that I was planning on talking about. But if you guys have any HBO show movie recommendations, can you let me know in the comments below? Because I will eventually get HBO for like a month or so, maybe two months because I want to watch Game of Thrones. And I know those episodes are extremely long and there's like eight seasons or something crazy like that. So I know that I can't binge watch all of that in one month. That's just way too much. That's way, way, way too much. So if you guys have any recommendations of other shows, movies, things like that, let me know and I will make a little note. So when I do the full month or so, then I will add those to my list. So. We're gonna end this here. I hope you guys had an amazing week. I hope you have an amazing weekend. Always be safe, and I will see you in Monday's video. Bye.